Okay, well, good morning. It is now. It's very small on my screen. Is it 519? It looks 519. I need to check my vision. There, it's 519. Okay, so. Here we are, Thursday morning, uh, cleary conditions, and it's cool out there again. So this is our view from downtown. Here's our view of downtown from Mount Soledad, and it is 52 degrees there. Uh, so very similar to what you woke up to yesterday. 49 in El Cajon, 46 in Alpine, 44 in Poway. Some of you are a few degrees warmer right now, uh, but what we're going to start to notice, and if you probably are feeling it already, the dryness in the air. So clear, cold start to the morning, and then this afternoon's going to get warm. We're also going to see this happen. So surface area high pressure. That's what's going on over the Great Basin, sending winds from the deserts all the way to the coast. So what happens when we see that? Well, those are Santa Ana winds and it could be as high as 40 miles per hour, especially in our mountains and our foothills. And what it does is bring out all the moisture. It'll literally suck it out of the air. So five to 15% relative humidity will increase our fire danger. Let's show you relative humidity. The forecast model really shows how dry things are going to get when the winds peak early tomorrow morning. Look, at these numbers down to 7% for Vista Escondido, Ramona, Poway. And I show you this because obviously we want to be as careful as possible because our fire risk does go up. Even at the coastline, you saw humidity levels down to 15% for places like downtown. So by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, our fire risk expands. And then by 5 o'clock tomorrow night, it continues on. So Friday will be the day uh, where we'll have the highest risk, the strongest winds, and the dryness, but also the warmer weather. Today we're in the 70s, 75. Miramar, 77, Escondido, Poway, Ramona. Tomorrow, temperatures are going to go up even more. So not only do we have surface level high pressure, but we also have this ridging just off of our coast, and it's going to get closer and closer. So by Friday and Saturday, there it goes. It peaks, and our temperatures will be in the 80s even at our beaches. So let me show you that in the eight-day forecast. So you can see this warm up, at least for the first half of your weekend. 86 on Saturday at the coast, 88 for inland valleys. And then we start to get a little dive on Sunday as an area of low pressure comes through and next week will be much cooler. But yeah, look at that Friday and Saturday, definitely a warmer day.